Now that we've looked at the space and the team to run the rentals, it's time to look at the marketing of your space and how you're going to get people to come in and pay for it. There are three initial things you should take a look at. First, consider what the rates are of your competitors with similar spaces. The first thing you need to know is if your rates are competitive. Second, what groups or kinds of users do you want to attract? Are they artists, yoga classes? At Kapisanan, we have a broad range of people renting our space, but they've all been groups that are centered around some kind of culture and wanted to be in a safe and welcoming space. In that way, here at Kapisanan, our revenue generation is in line with our organizational mission of providing a safe space for the community to gather. The third marketing point to consider is, once you've identified your target market, how will you connect with them? If you're an organization with a mailing list, a Twitter account, or a Facebook page, the easiest way to get started is there. When Kapisanan started out, we were lucky in that our in-house community partner is a theater company, so our reach with theater producers was built in. Like most things in startups, marketing is a bit of a trial and error. There's no real wrong way to promote your rental space, but there are ways that will get you more from your efforts. Marketing is a continually evolving and ongoing process. The trick is to always evaluate what you're doing so that you can figure out what's not working. Now you're ready to go. The five videos you've just watched should get you ready in making your space into a rentable venue. Good luck.